Now, let's study the structure of brain first. The brain is located inside the skull of the body. It is protected by a bony box in the skull called cranium. The brain is protected inside the cranium as it is a soft part of the body. It controls the functioning of almost all organs in the body. The brain is surrounded by three membranes called meninges which protect it. The space between the membranes is filled with cerebrospinal fluid which protects the brain from mechanical shocks. The structure of the brain can be seen if we separate the two attached portions. The brain consists of cerebrum, thalamus, hypothalamus, pituitary, medulla, cerebellum and spinal cord. Pairs of cranial nerves originate from the brain. Cranial nerves are the nerves which connect all the parts in the head directly to the brain. The brain is divided into three regions, forebrain, midbrain and hindbrain. The forebrain is the main thinking part of the brain. The forebrain consists of cerebrum. The cerebrum is the site of learning, reasoning, intelligence, personality and memory. There are sensory areas in the forebrain where information is received from the sense organs. Separate areas of the forebrain are specialized for hearing, smell, sight and so on. There are individual areas of association where this sensory information is interpreted by putting it together with information from other receptors as well as with information that is already stored in the brain. Based on all this, a decision is made about how to respond and the information is passed on to the motor areas which control the movement of voluntary muscles. For example, our hand muscles move in response to a hot stimulus. Therefore, all the voluntary actions of the body are coordinated by cerebrum. The midbrain connects the forebrain to the hindbrain. The midbrain does not have further divisions. It controls reflex movements of the head, neck and trunk in response to visual and auditory stimuli. The hindbrain consists of pons, cerebellum and medulla. The pawns help in regulating respiration. Think about activities like walking in a straight line, riding a bicycle, picking up a pencil. These are controlled by the cerebellum of the hindbrain. The cerebellum helps in maintaining the posture and balance of the body. Medulla controls various involuntary actions like breathing, blood circulation, blood pressure, mouth watering, vomiting and salivation. 